live down the street? Yeah, man. Hey, uh, my name's Todd. I'm Alan. So, hey, nice to meet you, man. So, yeah, basically, um, we're trying to bring awareness, uh, be a voice for the voiceless. Like, most people don't know that 60,000 abortions, we call it child sacrifice, happen every year in Texas. And uh, the pro-life movement, which everybody basically says they're pro-life, but what the pro-life movement does is it regulates how, when, and where you kill babies. They don't make any laws to make it illegal. Right. You know, and what abolitionists, like the abolitionists of slavery right, say, right. is that every bit, every child is created in the image of God. And we shouldn't be able to kill any of them. And godly men who stand at the gates, we are Christians, we're part of the bride of Christ, we say that we need to make it illegal. Don't make iniquitous decrees, the Bible says. Like, woe to the man that makes iniquitous yeah. decrees. And everybody, you know, pastors, you know, all, I mean, there's 30,000 churches in Texas, yeah. 70,000 pastors. There's 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted in Texas in the foster care system. They're just waiting to be adopted, like these kids right here. But nobody wants them because they're not babies. Right? How do we have 70,000 pastors and we can't get 13,000 kids adopted in Texas? You know? Yeah, so what we're saying is, is let's love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength and love our neighbors ourselves. And that's what Jesus said, right? And uh, so we're not here because we hate anybody or we're mad at anybody, but we're just like, you know, tired of standing out in front of the abortion clinic or the schools or in towns and, and trying to talk to people and have everybody go, oh, I go to church, I'm pro-life. You know, and we say, well, okay, <laughs> I hear you. <ya, laughs> but we've had 60 million babies aborted in, tech, in, in the United States, you know? And, uh, and that doesn't include like plan B you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I was kind of curious because so, I was like, pro-life out in front of the church, right? Like, yeah. The rest of the, the yeah. math, you know, it's yeah. kind, of, kind of an odd setup, right? Yeah, well, they have a crisis pregnancy center, you know, and they're like, we're pro-life, we have a crisis pregnancy center, why are you here? And we're like, do you know if we had a million more Preston Woods, abortion would still be legal, the number one cause of death, because crisis pregnancy centers help women, like they don't get them out of the abortion clinic. Like they're like, here we are, if you want help, we'll help you. And then if you go to their webpage, it doesn't, there's no talk of God, there's no talk of Jesus, there's no talk of sin, or that it's murder, there's no talk of any of that. What it says is, um, it's cheaper to have an abortion if you um, do it early in the pregnancy. Let us do the sonogram for you so you can tell how old it is. Right. You know, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. I mean, are you a secular organization that doesn't care about justice, right. you know, and mercy? Um, or are you just, you know, you trying to be tricky and like, hey, let's get them in, then we'll tell them about Christ. But I don't even know if they tell them about Christ, you know, because yeah. really they're not, and, and that doesn't have anything to do with making it illegal. You know, I mean, it is good to help women. Like, I'm totally for that. And kids. Like, we adopted six foster kids. Adopted them, not just get paid by the state to house them. You know, we need to rescue these kids out of foster care because it is evil and wicked. Foster care system in Texas is so bad, man. So, you know. Cool, man. I appreciate your time, brother. Hey, thank you, man. All right, man. Have a good day. You have a good one. Come, come hold a sign with us. Well, I'll be out here for like an hour or so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, man.